You know, we've got the independent A-arm suspension. But I'm going to actually pick this coach up once we do it with the tire lift with the frame fork. You okay, John? Yes, sir. You seem nervous over there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so key thing that, you know, I always look at is I want to be centered up as I'm coming in there because I really want the same amount of distance. I have to have so much overhang on this attachment on the crossbar so when I go to pick it up, like we're right now, we're picking up 17,000. Uh, these tire lifts, the original, their capacities were 13,000 pounds, and we started getting into the buses. We were doing a lot. There's one right there, four holders, okay? One on each side, one on each side, okay? And then if we do the three-inch short fork, so you might need to unlock that right there. Okay, it might be in there. So with this, we have several attachments. We have the arm that's coming into the side of the grid, and this is our adjustable tube. Uh, this is T1 steel that we did in order to handle the capacities and sometimes up to 20,000 pounds. So for doing a mixer packer pump or snorkel truck. Guys like using the tire lift because I don't have to get underneath it. You know, and, and that's one of the things they like about it. All right. <clears throat> now one thing we found out today is the idle sensor has not been taken off. This has got California emission idle sensor, so it'll only idle for about six minutes and then the engine shuts off. And so that's something we didn't get corrected when we brought her in here. I don't want to lay that down because I could drive drive over it. Right back up. you got to be careful because 
if I get it too tight, it won't want to come out. And I'll have to struggle with my attachment getting it out. So I've now put my retaining shoe on the back. Put my plug in there. Um, try to match up the other side. There you go. 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 All right. Honey. Where you at? You got the dog. All right. Uh, let me do this. Come on inside here, Johnny.
where the more overhang I have in the vehicle, the further that bus is going to go out that way. It's scary. And you have to watch fenders, I mean doors, uh, gates, posts, you know, when you're maneuvering something because as you go to pivot it, it just throws that bus that much further away from you. The next thing you got to worry about is height. And I'm way up too high. If it senses throttle movement, it'll stay. So, right here is about where I would feel comfortable. Boy's going to come with a bungee cord. If he doesn't come with a bungee cord, you need to get him a bungee cord. But all of your mud flaps and everything like that, they'll sit there and want to tie those off if they're on the ground. And you don't want to be too high because then you're going to be dragging your butt when I go in and out of here. So it is a happy medium. You know, to what that tour is, his challenges are, as far as uh, understanding, you know, what the requirements are. There's no such thing. Nothing written down in, in, in stone as to how you end up doing it. Let me tell you, this underlift says, I, I got a lot of weight. I'm heavy, boss. All right, Johnny, what I want you to do is, um, hold on one minute. Now I'm going to make my life a little bit easier. Towers will do this. let the tire sit and raise it up off the lift. And I just want to make sure that I don't get onto the lift when I do this. Have y'all ever seen this happen before? done before, you probably don't ever want to see it again, but just in case, this is what you do. All right, John, hang on. All right, go and set that brake. Okay, take your, did you have your foot on the brake? All right, okay, let's see what happens here. Very good. 
of a 365 coach that you had 315s. Eh, not happening. You know, it's nice that you put the bigger tire on there because you'll have better capacities, no doubt about that. But it's not going to have the ride of what you did in, in Isabel. I forget the coach number. It was somewhere in the last four digits. It's somewhere in the 4,600 range of your prevo. So your last, uh, on your H's, your last four numbers be 4,600 and somewhere right in there. They went to the 18,000 pound axle to the front. And you can see now to jacked up, the airbag's like this. They went 30% larger on your airbag. Instead of the airbag being straight up and down, they rolled it like this. So you had a lot more stability in the H, you know, after that era than before. Big difference, real big difference. All right, we're gonna put this more cooler on. All right, and I believe this is your side. Yes, and then your hand of your side. Uh, uh, a 
Okay, back into the coach, put your foot on the brake, and then release the emergency brake for me. Put on the foot on the brake, hold it, release the brake, and then real easily let it off. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Are you released? All right, that's it. All right, here we go. Lift it up. Now, you all come take a look. Car, come up and get it for me and get my, we didn't get my cell phone number. You don't have a pen, I can give it to you and put it on the back of the car.